Trump halts U.S. program of arming ISIS in Syria. President Donald Trump has announced the defunding of a CIA program that arms and funds ISIS militants in Syria. Amid a total media blackout, the Trump administration announced this week that it would halt the covert CIA program that armed terrorists in Syria who were tasked with toppling the Assad regime. The FreeThoughtProject.com reports, it is no secret that much of the opposition forces in Syria are aligned with ISIS. In fact, this move by Trump was actually proposed in legislation by Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard in the House and Senator Rand Paul in the Senate. For years, our government has been providing both direct and indirect support to these armed militant groups, who are working directly with or under the command of terrorist groups like Al-Qaeda and ISIS, all in their effort and fight to overthrow the Syrian government, Gabbard said earlier this year. As the Free Thought Project reported in April, the U.S. new al-Qaeda leader al-Zawahiri called on Muslims in Turkey and the Middle East to aid the rebels in the Free Syrian Army. From this day forward, the lines between who al-Qaeda or the rebels actually were became heavily blurred. But, according to the email, the State Department did not care as they knew al-Qaeda was on their side. As the email states, Department of State case no. CO 578913A date, 10 slash 30 slash 2015 Al Zawahiri urges Muslim support for opposition, U, Al Qaeda leader Al Zawahiri called on Muslims in Turkey and the Middle East to aid rebel forces in their fight against supporters of Syrian President Assad in an intern video recording. Al-Zawahiri also urged the Syrian people not to rely on the Al, Turkey, or the United States for assistance. Uters. Once this wire went out to multiple departments in the form of an ops alert, apparently there may have been some original concern about Al-Qaeda joining the ranks of the US-supported rebels who are being used by the American deep state to destabilize Syria on behalf of special interests. However, Sullivan quickly replied to his master, Hillary Clinton, to let her know that Al-Qaeda is on our side in Syria. It is not some conspiracy theory that the US has been caught time and again putting weapons in the hands of ISIS. It was also not some pro-Russian move as the WAPO tries to spin it. President Trump has decided to end the CIA's covert program to arm and train moderate Syrian rebels battling the government of Bashar al-Assad, a move long sought by Russia, according to U.S. officials. Although this move was sought by Russia, it doesn't make it a pro-Russian move. It makes it a logical one. How on earth can you claim to be fighting ISIS while at the same time arming them? But, the Washington Post knows no logic only propaganda which they laid on thick in the hit piece against the move to stop arming terrorists. In their article, they cite their mythical anonymous source, who claims this is a catastrophe. This is a momentous decision, said a current official, who spoke on the condition of anonymity to discuss a covert program. Putting one in Syria. This line might be considered true if Putin was attempting to do anything other than help the Assad regime who invited him there unlike the US. But the fear-mongering doesn't stop there. We are falling into a Russian trap, said Charles Lister, a senior fellow at the Middle East Institute, who focuses on the Syrian resistance, reports the Post. We are making the moderate resistance more and more vulnerable. We are really cutting them off at the neck. However, as Congresswoman Gabbard noted, 
who actually went to Syria to see for herself, there are no moderate trebles. The reality is and every place that I went, every person that I spoke to, I asked this question to them, and without hesitation, they said, there are no moderate trebles. Who are these moderate rebels that people keep speaking of? Regardless of the name of these groups, the strongest fighting force on the ground in Syria is al-Nusra, or al-Qaeda and ISIS. That is a fact, Gabbard said. By ridiculing the decision to stop the CIA from putting weapons in the hands of terrorists, the WAPO and their ilk in the mainstream media are showing their true colors. They also look utterly ridiculous in their attempt to inject the fake Russian narrative into it as well. Make no mistake, the corporate media in the United States has an important function in regards to the government and that is to sell you war. When a move is made to ostensibly combat that narrative, they will lash out. Conversely, when people are killed and bombs are dropped, they will respond with praise. While this move is certainly a beneficial one, it is hardly a game changer as the Pentagon will continue its train and equip program in support of the largely Kurdish rebel force that is advancing on Islamic State strongholds in Raqqa and along the Euphrates River Valley. Perhaps Trump knew this and this entire fiasco was little more than a dog and pony to distract from the tens of thousands of innocent civilians piling up behind the man who ran on a campaign to get out of Syria and the Middle East altogether.